Hi all, I am Vinay Kumar. In this series of Pompotic Sampo, today I will explain you what is memory map. Okay, memory map is nothing but how the memory is organized and allocated in Cortex M4 processor. You know, the Cortex M4 processor has 32 bit data bus as well as 32 bit address bus because you know, 32 uh, ARM Cortex M4 processor is 32 bit processor, which means it has 32 bit address bus and 32 bit data bus. Here, observe based on the size of address bus, uh, your memory map is ranged. I mean, if your address bus is only 16 bit, then you can access up to 2 power 16 memory locations. Remember, you can access up to 2 power 16 memory location. Here, our address bus is 32 bit address bus. That means here you can uh, allocate the addresses up to 2 power 32. You can allocate up to 2 power 32 addresses for memory region. Okay, which means 2 power 32 is nothing but 4 gigabytes. 4 gigabytes of memory you can allocate uh, by using this address bus. Okay, here observe. Here I will give you one small example how uh, this memory map is used for reading or writing a data in the process. Uh, after ending this example, you can get clear idea. Here observe. It is ARM Cortex M4 processor. Here, some of the peripherals are connected, that is GPIO, timers, ADC, I2C, uh, code memory, and data memory. Okay, each peripheral is uh, already allocated or assigned with some addresses. Okay, if you want to access, if you want to modify or read, write data from that particular peripheral, first, you have to know uh, the what address is allocated for that particular peripheral. Here, suppose, I'm gonna tell you one example. Here, one register is present in the I2C peripheral. Let us assume one register is present in I2C peripheral. In that, I have a data. Data may be anything. If I want to store the data present in one of the registers of I2C to the register present in the data memory or the data memory location, then how can I do this thing? Here, our ARM Cortex M4 processor needs to produce the address of this particular register. Okay, address of this particular register. Here first, ARM Cortex M4 processor needs to generate an address in the address box, which is equal to this particular memory location. Then only the ARM Cortex M4 processor can fetch the data present in this particular register. Okay, if once that address is generated by the address bus, then this particular register will get selected. After selecting particular register, then um, the ARM processor, ARM Cortex M4 processor can read the data present in this register through the data bus, through this 32-bit data bus. And it can store one of its core registers. You know, in ARM Cortex M4 processor, some core registers are there, R0, R1, R2. I explained already about core registers in one of my previous videos. If you don't watch it, I will give you that link in description as well as in cards. You can go and watch it. Here, see, now, after creating the data from the I2C uh, register, you have to store that data into one of the core registers of Cortex M4. And after completion of this reading, here, wait, let me erase. Yeah, yes. Now see here, after completion of reading, you have to store that data. This is, let's suppose, this is data it is stored in register or not. You have to store this data into the data memory. For that, again you have to generate an address of data memory in the address bus. Okay, in the address bus. After selecting the uh, memory block of data memory, then you can write this or not data into the data memory. Understand? If you want to read or write the data, first you have to select that particular memory block by using address bus. You have to generate that particular memory block address through the address bus and then you, have, you can read and write through the data bus. This is the simple memory read and write operation by using memory map and here I will explain you 
how the memory uh, is allocated to the different addresses in ARM Cortex M4 process. Here observe the total memory is 4 gigabytes memory. Why we are using 4 gigabytes only? Because it is 32 bit, uh, it has 32 bit uh, address bus. With 32 bit address bus, you can access only 2 power 32 uh, bytes of, I mean, 2 power 32 memory locations. Okay. 2 power 32 is nothing but 4 gigabytes. Okay. Here observe, these 4 gig gigabytes are uh, allocated to different, different regions in Cortex M4. See here, the first region is code memory. First region from 0 cross 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0 cross 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, up to this. That is 0 0.5 GB. That is 5 to 12 MB. First 5 to 12 MB is allocated to code memory. Here you have to store the code. That is nothing but instructions. You should not store any data or any other things in this region. Because this region is particularly allocated for the code. And the next 5 to 12 MB. Next 5 to 12 MB is allocated to SRAM. That is static RAM. In this area, you can store um, data. Uh, temporary data or any other data. You can store in SRAM region. Here see, uh, in SRAM region itself, one uh, specific region is there that is a bit band alias. I'll explain you about bit band and bit band alias. In my next video, it's nothing but it's a technique to uh, modify or write or to access single bit. Okay. In general, uh, we can read, write a byte of memory. But by using this technique or by using this memory uh, fin, you can do single bit operations. Okay. Now, and the next pi toll MB is allocated to peripheral. Here, in this memory range, from 0 cross 4 0 0 0 0 0 0 to 0 cross 6 0 0 0 0 0 0 0. In this memory uh, field, you can connect any peripheral. If you want to connect any external peripheral, you can connect within this memory uh, field. Okay, and the next 1 GB of memory is allocated to the external RAM. Here you can connect the external RAM. And uh, next 1 GB is allocated to the one more external device. And... Again, uh, next things are allocated to some memory is allocated to system related operations and uh, remain two are allocated to private peripheral bus. This is a bus. Okay. This is the bus. And this is how the memory is allocated to the different regions of Aru Cortex M4 with the addresses. Here see, these addresses and this memory allocations are fixed by the designers of Aru Cortex M4. You cannot change this. Okay. You have to use these addresses only. If you want to uh, fetch the code, then you have to use this 0 cross 0, 0, 0, 0 only. Okay, you can't use this 0 cross 4, 0, 0 for fetching the code because these are all are already designed by the designer swap on Cortex M4. You cannot change anything. You have to use the same addresses and the same regions for the uh, for their particular operation. I hope you understand this uh, lecture. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in comment section. I will give you my mail ID, Telegram channel and Instagram channel in the description. If you have further any doubts in embedded systems, you can directly contact me. I will always help you. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.